<clears throat> hello, hello. Welcome. We got a new setup. I had uh, mentioned to you guys a little bit ago that um, I was going to be getting a tripod and got a cool light ring on it and uh, it's pretty awesome. So uh, last minute kind of a deal tonight. Um, just kind of decided last minute that uh, I missed you guys. So oh, I was going to jump on and I was going to take the night off, but what the heck, this is, this makes me happy. So we're going to, we're going to do some things together. Um, so again, I got, uh, got a new setup here. Can't get that close up. Um, so a little different angle here. We're going to try some things out. Um, something a little different. We're going to use a, a little larger canvas tonight. Um, kind of get back to our roots and, and do a, a nice metallic tree. Um, this is going to be a little bit special. This is, uh, this is for somebody, um, for their birthday gift and and we're going to kind of incorporate some of their children's names and stuff into things so we're going to kind of get uh kind of get personal with some of these things and it's the cool thing about art is you can create gifts for people um you know and, and inspire and make them happy and it's very personal it's not i know i posted earlier today about going out and buying a you know 80 dollar canvas of of you know a van gogh or a renoir or something that you put in your living room um it's it's great it's beautiful it looks pretty but it's not unique it's not individual it's not special to you specifically so um that's what the cool part about um sharing your art and um giving to those that uh that it means something to them so tonight it's going to be uh, a little more individualized and special um so we're gonna we're gonna get after that um last night's was awesome the loofah wow that was fun um uh, i got it up in the background still looks super cool it's still vibrant I'm still digging it. <laughs> it's uh it's an awesome piece and uh still for sale, still available. Same thing with our uh with this bad boy here, a little Hawaiian um our Hawaiian piece that's still available as well. So um if that speaks to you, great. Um if you want something different, um just let me know and uh we can whip something up for you and it's individual. It's for you. Um so real quick wanna share um some really awesome stories coming through. Um, I, I got some people that are just really uh, inspiring me. Um, again, I'm going to talk about this again. This is, I'm, I'm just blown away by the, the inspirational stuff and the stories that you guys are giving to me. Um, it fills my cup, fills my heart, makes me super happy. Um, I love sharing that with you guys. This is, I feel like we're all, we're all a community and a family in this together. You guys are hanging out with me. I'm hanging out with you. You're in my home. Uh, we're in my studio. Um, you know, we're kind of all in this together. So you know, just love each other, be real inspirational with each other, um, and, uh, and share those stories because you never know who's having a bad day, who's gonna, who that's gonna lift up, um, and, and fill their cup and fill their heart. So, um, that's the great thing about art is, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. We're gonna help people. We're gonna inspire them. Um, yeah, people are, are, are hanging their stuff up in their houses and sending me pictures in their offices and, uh, it just looks awesome. I love seeing it out there. And I, I love that it's a focal point and it's something that you're proud of because it's yours. It's individual. It's for you. You know, we can create something together. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it tonight. All right, here we go. I'm going to get you in close. We are using a 20 by still getting figuring this out here. So you can actually see me using my right hand this time. I always use my right hand, but it's backwards. So I hope this, uh, this helps, um, get you a little closer too. Um, be able to see kind of that canvas. Sorry, bear with me. Kind of getting this all figured out together. That's what we do. All right, does that look good? You'll be able to see me actually doing the tree and stuff that way. Awesome. Um, cool. We're going to get after it tonight. We got metallic purple. Boom, we are doing purple like nobody's business. I think we're going to sell out the stores. And a metallic teal. We're going to put these together and um, do some fun stuff with that. So we're going to do a purple background. And uh, Alexa, down two notches. Eh, you know, I love Alexa. She's great. All right. Let's get this going. You guys excited? It's almost the weekend. Woo, payday. All right. Let's do it. All right. I am going to put this a little off center. Um, we're going to try something a little different. A lot of times we end up getting that tree. We get that uh, center point here. And the tree kind of covers that. So 
We're actually going to do something a little different. Hey guys, are you looking for incredible clothes and All right. affordable price? And good Just as soon as I say I love Alexa, we get a nice commercial. So. Custom prints to quality construction. We design super precise Cool. All right, so we're getting a nice little little dollop of, uh, of white on there. And we're going to come in with a different, uh, with a different brush using our nice handy dandy. Dollar General. With Don't go out and spend a ton of money on really expensive brushes. These are like two bucks. Um, they work awesome. Ask, try Amazon Music all right. So here we go. Oh yeah, this is gonna be nice. Some songs would talk like that. Yes, you're not coming from me across the pond here. You're actually doing some art. All right. So we don't want to use a ton because um, we don't want it to get too muddy when we come back in with that white. So, again, we don't want to forget to paint the sides, so we will get to that in one second. Again, we're using a metallic uh, amethyst from Deco Art. Sorry, I didn't, uh, didn't tell you guys first. Uh, Deco Art Amethyst Metallic. It has got some shine to it. Um, they do have different uh, Different levels of shine uh, when you're purchasing these. Some are like a, a low shine, just got a little bit of shimmer to them. This one's a high shine one, and I'm hoping we get to get some good shine to it. Almost got rid of this crud, and uh, I almost forget about it when I'm down here. I'm in my basement, if you guys didn't know. This is. Uh, the Walters basement studio. I used to have a home studio for my photography business and man, I, I love that because uh, I could get lost in my edit bay and just sit there and edit photos for hours sitting on the couch and not getting bothered by anybody. And so now I got a painting studio down here and this is, this is awesome stuff. So how are you guys doing? You guys doing all right for Thursday? Gonna get some junky weather up here this weekend right here, so we'll be hunkered down and painting some beauty. Forgetting about the weather. All right, we got that side kind of covered, good. All right, let's do this other side, get that done, and then we can start having some fun. All right, so again, if you're tuning in for the first time, um, or tonight anyways, we are, we have flipped the sides of the uh, camera. So my arms look different and angles look different and that's why. Uh, we've got a nice, nice tripod in finally, upgrade and all this stuff. It's got a nice light ring on it. Kind of adds a little extra glow to the, to the photo there, so, or to the painting, so you can see that. Cool. This is a 20 by 24 canvas, so a little bit bigger than what we've been using. Um, I just had an extra one here and I thought it'd be really nice to, since this is gonna be a gift for somebody, uh, not, not giving it as a birthday gift. And we would uh, make this a nice focal piece. I like to experiment with different size canvases too because you don't want the same layout to happen every time. Where are you gonna have your tree in the same spot or your sun in the same spot? Just gonna move it around, just gonna see what happens. Because like like we mentioned earlier with um, pieces of art being different and unique, I really do not want to get pigeonholed into being just painting glowing trees, you know? That's why we experimented a little bit and did some a Hawaiian piece and um, some moonlight glow pieces and things like that. So um, I'm also gonna start trying um, some waterfalls and um, things like that. I mean, uh, I wanna expand that out too and try some things. So bear with me on those. We'll, uh, we'll do those together too. So, all right, so we're gonna kinda go into the fun part of this, grabbing a little white with that purple. I'm just gonna get right in here. And again, we're just gonna kind of work in the same area, kind of filling this in, grabbing some of that purple, it's gonna blend it. Just make sure we're getting all that canvas covered up. 
You don't want any of that canvas showing through and then having to go back later and trying to fill it in. You want to do it while it's wet, while you got this momentum going. A little bit more white. So we're just going to kind of work this out. All right, so we've kind of moved the moon glow over a little bit just to give us um, a little more of that glow outside of the tree because what we have been running into is the, the tree covering up most of that. So, okay, cool. Again, you can always grab a little more white. You don't wanna, the white will blend. Anytime you add lighter color to uh, this, it will blend a lot easier than grabbing dark. I'm sure you guys have learned that from a long time ago in art class. You know, you always add a little bit of dark to the light, but if you add light to the dark, it's not gonna work. You're gonna lose it. Okay, so we are just using the tip of the brush and we're just kind of circular, very lightly letting that kind of wisp across and it's, it's really doing a great job of blending. So we're just gonna bring some of that lighter color out here. Now, we like this light on the inside, so we're not gonna go back and touch that. We're just gonna work this edge a little bit to give it more of a radiant glow. I'm gonna work this edge a little bit here. So some of this will probably be covered by the tree, but I just wanna make sure that it's uniform. This is probably more of a focal point that you'll see here. So we're gonna really try to get some glow on this upper side. Cool, how many we got here still with us? All right, 30 folks with us tonight. Didn't really announce this until kind of last minute, so um, a lot of folks catch this later when they're drinking their coffee in the morning and that sort of thing, so really appreciate that. Folks catching me later. But for those folks that are here, I appreciate you as well. And thank you for all the, the comments and the kind thoughts and words and, and encouragement. And I really do appreciate that. And I appreciate you guys being there for each other. You know what I'm starting to see now is somebody will make a comment and somebody will jump right in below it and and, and be positive with them too. So I, I just, I really appreciate that guys. That is really the message that we are sending is that um, we're all here for positive, you know, affirmations, positive love. And, and uh, I just appreciate you guys being respectful and, and doing that with each other. And it's just super cool to see. So, I think we're there. All right, so I am just, I mean, just barely, barely get some of this. And we're gonna just add a little wispiness to this. I don't want a ton, just a little bit more, a little more glow. Probably really up here. Cool, we're almost there. Almost there. Yeah, what do you think guys? That has got some glow to it, don't you think? Cool. Hey, Michael McDonald, how are you, sir? I love seeing, uh, seeing people I've known for a long time. And... Jumping in and hope everybody's feeling better. A lot of, a lot of folks getting sick, including myself, so we're on the mend. We're in a happy place now down here. Doing art. All right, last little bit here. All right, and we're gonna kind of come in with the, the black anyways. I just want to make sure we don't have any weird canvas spots sticking through. Looking weird. All right, cool. Cool. I think we're there. All right, so we got the glow going. Time. 
for our hills. So we are grabbing some black. Just grabbing some black here. Um, again, we want the tree to be on this side. So we're gonna make the first hill here. These days I'm gonna flatten out this table. <laughs> In the meantime, let me get a little extra sound effects. A little more black. Now you can choose to not cover this in purple and then just come in with black, you know, it's because it'll really covering it up anyways but what I like about it is you if you drag it on it enough you're gonna see some of that purple come through and it just kind of highlights it just enough um, to give you an extra dimension that's it so a little highlight there in that hill and when it dries you'll just kind of see it pop through it's kind of neat all right our second hill So thin that out. Don't want a real big chunky line right here, but you also don't want an uneven line. So make sure that you get that all filled in nice. Cool. I like it. Sure. I, I like to get these edges if it's black right here. We do have purple underneath here, but um, just to give it the little added dimension there. Cool, so we're gonna save that black because that's gonna be for our tree. Um, and we are gonna go ahead and get that framed in right here. So again, um, I'm gonna do this as a gift for someone's birthday um, and they have um, five children. So we're gonna do five main branches, um, each with a highlight that's gonna have their initial on it. Um, some people can do the roots and, and do names and stuff and kind of get calligraphy with it. Um, we're going to just kind of take our own liberties and do, do our own thing with it. So um, I'm going to start out with a nice thick trunk and then we're going to kind of go from there with, with how we want to do the rest of the tree. Have a little. five main branches is we're going to put um, an initial in there. So we're going to want five main branches coming up. And again, we don't really have to make it super detailed at the end because we are going to cover that with our foliage and we'll, you guys have seen kind of the protocol there with that. So, so we are going to kind of cover these edges and ends. So they don't have to be, you know, perfect. It's actually going to go off the page there. Nice. We are going to have some small little branches that we'll add in a little bit, but just for this, the reason that we need five for the five initials that we're going to be doing. So um, normally I wouldn't, um, this looks like a hand in some cases. Um, 
I wouldn't normally do a five branch. We'd add some more, have some kind of funky twists to it. Um, but be, for the sake of the fact we're doing this in with an intended purpose, we're kind of breaking the rules here. Which glad you're along with me to do that. All right, we got 20 diehards, 21 diehards still hanging out. Um, didn't really announce this. I guess the the loofah announcement really got people going, so <laughs> that's why they turned in tuned in last night. Maybe that's why. We're just gonna finish this up. Or maybe everybody's getting tired of trees. I don't know. But you know, I uh I follow a lot of other artists and you know they, they kind of stick to what works for them and that's kind of what we do. I, I have been trying some different things with um, different household materials and whatnot. Um and we will continue to do that, folks. Um had some other ideas about using bubble wrap uh, as a texture. I want to try that. Let's see. Cool. She's got a little character to it. Um, and again, we're going to go in with highlights later um, and, and frame and do the highlights on this tree. But for now, it's kind of where we're at. Cool. All right. I like it. Now, it's time for some sponge action. Cool. We've got this really cool sponge here. I don't know if you can see it might be too bright, but it's got some really cool texture to it. I think this is going to be awesome. Here we go. It is texture time. Oh yeah. This is going to pop for sure. Yes, that's my furnace going off. You guys were wondering. We're gonna do something a little different with these trees here is we're gonna leave some open area in a couple of these spots and come in with come in with our branches metallic teal um, by Art Deco. Again, metallic teal. Um, I picked both these up at Hobby Lobby for about two bucks a piece. Cool. Really adds some shine, especially as you're moving across a room and you look over at the piece and you're like, holy wow, that's, that's really shiny. And it's not the same as it was when I was over on that side of the room. So I really like using this metallic, it's kind of cool. All right, so just add a little more on this side. Cool. All right, I like it, I like it. We're getting somewhere. Add a couple more little drop downs. And then we'll go in some white. Cool. I like it. Um, I'm going to adapt just a hint of black. Kind of coming on this side. This is our shaded side. So we want it a little more muted, a little more low lights to it. There we go. Cool. Alright, now we're going to come over top with some teal. We still have that color. Added the black, it kind of muted it out. Um, but we, we're still going to add that color back to it so it does have that shine. It's just less highlighted. Understand? Cool. I like it. You guys are following along. Still got 20 folks. How are y'all tonight? Cool. 
So, let's see what we're gonna do here. Okay, well, let's see. I think we're good. Where we're at, tree wise. Let's not forget, we gotta add some color underneath the tree. So, well, this one's gonna be cool because it's really a sparse looking sponge. It's just really dependent on the pattern that you get from your sponges to you guys. <clears throat> is is kind of what you're gonna end up with as far as this bottom piece is concerned. Um, some people ask too, like, hey, why is there not like your color in this other hill? Well, the answer to that is because the trees on this hill, these are kind of like leaves and color reflection from the tree and the trees on this hill. So keep that in mind too when you guys are going about this. It's got to make sense, you know, logically too sometimes, unless you're really doing an abstract and then you can just <laughs> free for all it, you know what I mean? So I appreciate you guys hanging out here with me tonight. It's Thursday, we're almost done with the week. Woo! Get a get a woo woo on that one. Okay. Again, we're gonna throw some black here on this, and we get to throw it some white. It's purple too. We're gonna come over this with some some teal in a second, so. That highlighted a lot. Where are we at here? Some teal. Thing we didn't do um, is we're gonna come back to this a little bit let's throw this white highlight the tree I'm gonna rip off a chunk of a fresh um, a fresh sponge here just because we kind of got a little carried away and got purple and stuff on it. So we're gonna just kind of come in here. We got a little piece here and that's totally fine because we're just kind of detailing here anyways. We want this to be kind of on the high side of some of these highlights. Um, and I like it, I like it, I like it. and kind of break this up a little bit. And we did leave an open area there uh, that we'll be able to come into here in a second um, when we do finish with our, with our branches and that sort of thing. Okay. We used a bigger, bigger dollop on there for that piece, but it's all good. We're, we'll work it in. Giving us some little texture, some leaf texture, it's cool. You don't want it super white and super bright because it really isn't, it's a glow. So, I'm gonna work out some of these things. Cool, I like it, different textures. Got some glow here. Then we're kind of fading off into this darkness. Um, notice I haven't picked up any more white. I'm kind of using the white that's already on the piece to kind of um, move it around and highlight other areas that 
might be better needed for it, so. Some funky jams going on in the background. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. All right, neat, cool, all right. So let's finish this up down here with the same piece. We did throw a little bit of purple in there, that's kind of cool. purple in there you won't really be able to see it from far away but once you get up close you, you'll notice it and just those little kind of highlights and and nuances to your piece that are just kind of neat make it different kind of cool hey man we still got 20 folks hanging out so thank you guys how's the weather where everybody's at it's gonna be really junky here soon Looking forward to uh, getting some more pieces done this weekend. I got some some projects lined up that I want to get done, and some that folks are waiting on and stuff. And it's just uh, it's just super fun to be able to collaborate with folks and do something fun. So we get that done. Let's do some purple in here. This is a darker. We can uh, actually low light with the purple instead of using black. How about that? Let's do that. So instead of using white to highlight and the teal will use the purple to kind of come in here, low light this tree down, kind of add a shadow there. Yeah, I like it. That looks cool. Way better. I like it. Add some teal. Just a little bit to make it pop. And we are almost ready for some some highlights on this. Cool. There, we got some color in there. Some black flex. I like it. I like it. I like it. What do you guys think? Hey, New York, how's it going? I love it, man. I love seeing people from all over the country, all over the world, um, chiming in, tell me what they think. All right, so we got five branches. We got five initials we're going to be using. So we're going to go in with. Um, let's see. I don't think the I don't think the lavender the the that that's going to be enough of a highlight. We'll start with the teal, the metallic teal, and see if that'll work. Um, I don't want a ton on there. You want it to be subtle enough and not uh, not too crazy. We'll just have a little white and see how we get with that. <clears throat> All right, so normally I don't do a whole lot of letters. Alexa, skip. I was totally over that song. I hope you guys were too. You're listening to free stations on Amazon Music. Want to listen ad-free? Try Amazon Music Unlimited, free for 30 days. Renews automatically, cancel anytime. Just ask, try Amazon Music Unlimited. <clears throat> Ladies, are you ready for better basics? At Daily Ritual, our Simply Chic Tees, Tanks, Dresses, and Leggings... So, this actually does have a little bit of teal and soft mixed in with it. Price. Exclusively at Amazon. Hi, it's Jamie, Progressive Number One, Number Two Employee. Leave a message at the. 
Hi, Jamie. It's you, Jamie. Don't hang up. You need to hear this. You gotta quit wearing that aviator jacket. Nobody's buying it. I'm sorry you have to hear it from me, but at Progressive, we're all about giving it to people straight. That's why we show all our right. rates alongside our competitors' rates. Sorry, I'm not and talking. I'm really concentrating on this. I don't want to mess it up. To look cool. All right, cool. Just keep so we got, uh, scarf. got those going on. We're going to add some teal to this. Purple. I'm just going to add some highlight to it. More teal. I like it. A little more white. So this is a little, a little unique, a little different um, as far as our approach to how we're gonna um, highlight this. You know, we don't want to compete with the letters, so we're gonna try to stay away from that. Um, but we still want to make it look like a realistic tree, so um, we still want to highlight it. Cool, appreciate you guys hanging out. I don't know, we got 15, 16 folks. some of that highlighted we're going to kind of come in here and we're going to finish out some of these branches twist the brush as I'm going down through the branch to kind of get the, the um, <clears throat> to get the paint to be kind of evened out and then it also twists it into a point so it makes it a lot more realistic Especially as you're dragging it through other paint, it tends to pick up the paint from the other stuff you're dragging it through. So if you can twist it a little bit, it helps give you fresh paint as you go through. Just little little hints and tidbits. So, yeah, I mean, it was easier last night to, to be talking through all this because it's really we're just, um, you know, banging a loofah <laughs> and moving some paint around. But um, tonight, a little bit different. I'm trying to be a little bit more finite with some of this stuff because this is, um, this just isn't a demonstration, you know, we're really 
trying to make a nice special gift for somebody um, for a birthday gift so How we doing guys still got uh, some folks hanging out i really appreciate that it's super awesome um i think we're getting pretty darn close to being done with this um i just want to blend a little bit of these highlights so they're not so in your face in your face bright I like it when you got like a little bit of some color left on your brush and it just it works out just right. Alright, let's add a couple little branches. Make this look a little more believable. A little more character to it. You get your artistic freedom to do whatever you'd like. Let's see what I want to do here. Oh yeah, we forgot that we had this hole up here that we were going to have a branch coming through, but I don't think we're going to get up to that high. Oh, let's try it. Something a little different like that. Same thing over here. Yeah. Now we're getting there. A lot more character to this one than just leaving a couple branches up and then calling it good. Again, we want to make sure that um, if we made a thicker branch there, that we make sure it's thicker down below than it was up top. So, I like it. That is super cool. All right, now, what you can do sometimes too, if you feel like, oh man, I did too much of that, is uh, grab your sponge. It's just kind of, I think we did this once before, but we're going to do it again. Grab that sponge. Okay, nothing's falling apart on us. I don't have anything left here. Um, let's just kind of add a little bit. So we can use one of these. Let's just kind of add a little bit across some of these. It turns out a little bit black. It's easier to go across them back here because it's darker anyways um, than doing it over there because then it really shows up bad. Uh, it'll be really dark. We're just going to throw some of this in here just to add some texture so it doesn't look flat like we screwed up and we're doing it over top of it. So we've just added a completely different dimension to this tree. Um, by having it kind of ebb and flow through and go over some of the branches. So it's kind of neat. 
Um, I like it. It looks different. Um, again, we'll add some more teal to this because it looks a little grayish, like we had it black and then we muddied it with a with the sponge. So. Cool, I like it, I think it's cool. And we got extra branches in there. I think it's cool, I think it's time for a signature and we'll call this one a in the books. Way too much paint in there. This should be the easiest part of the painting, don't you agree? Because we got so much paint on some of these brushes, it's a little tough. We should probably wash it off. But I'm not going to take the time to do that right now. That actually turned out pretty good. There's a signature, folks. And there is a metallic purple background um, with um, a metallic teal tree um, with the initials um, of this person's five children kind of etched into the tree um, highlighted through the the branches and I think it looks super cool uh, I think they'll be really happy with that um, again this was a 20 by 24 piece it's a nice big piece and hopefully that'll be a nice focal point for their their room we did um, shift off the moon glow a little bit to the one side so it does show up a little more if you've noticed on the other side of the tree adds a little more glow to that so it's not completely hidden behind the tree um, personal preference i think it's cool i also like sometimes when we do have it you can see some of the glow through here so just a something something to nitpick at and take a look at some of the other ones are like that i'm noticing throughout the room um, you kind of get more of a glow behind the tree but hey we're shifting we're trying some new things it's all about being a little different with that so, um, you get me for a second. Um, oh man, look at that. Hey, I'm a real painter because you got paint on your face. That's good stuff. Um, so again, I want to thank you guys for joining me tonight. Um, we did go to, uh, back to our roots and doing a, 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 a nice glow tree. A little more um, unique here with um, all the lettering uh, put in the tree. So we're going to try some different things here and there. Um, I'm actually going to, do another piece later tonight maybe I'll jump on live um, I got some stuff I got to get done tonight so if you want to join me I won't be super talking and, and doing um, some things but you can always tune in and check me out uh, see what I'm up to um, I got a couple pieces I want to get done tonight so um, I'll be back later and uh, guys again um, thank you I appreciate all your uh, your heartfelt um, uh, positive stories that you're sending me uh, your inspirational stories um, please continue to do that. Please send me, um, you know, your, your paintings that you've done, um, your drawings, your um, whatever you, whatever you're, you're into, whatever you're doing. I love it. I dig it. Um, we're a community of, of positive folks just helping each other out. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, like I said, I'll be on a little later. I'm not going to announce it, but if you want to chime in and, and say hi, um, I'll, I'll appreciate it. So we'll catch you guys later. Take care of each other. God bless.